Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, and boy we've had a blitz on these uh, magazines at the moment, but here is issue 7 of Eagle Moss's Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. Okay, if we just have a look at the uh, magazines here, look, there's not a lot to do in this one, not like the uh, last one, so uh, I hope this one's not going to be as long as the uh, the last issues we've had. Uh, I will show you the magazine in a second, I just want to talk about a couple of things. First off, thanks for everyone uh, who pointed out my screwdriver. Uh, this one here is actually for R2-D2, uh, so the one I should be using is this one. But I've got so many that uh, I, I just get so confused with it all. Um, and also thank you for the idea of putting uh, little screws in compartments and stuff. I've ordered a pillbox uh, with 21 slots. So I'll put them all in there and with little lids. And I won't have problems with opening the packets up anymore. Even though I'll probably be doing this here. Um, opening the packets on this one because it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, the other thing is the missing screw that I had in the last issue. Um, if you do get a problem with Eagle Moss, just call them up because that was instantly fixed. And then rather than sending uh, out another CM screw, uh, they're just sending me the whole thing again. The whole magazine. So how cool is that? Spare parts. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you do have a problem with Eagle Moss or you need something rectified. Or even if you want to subscribe, then please, by all means check out the link in the description below and um, you can get everything you want there but uh, let's get starting on this build and show you what the magazine looks like okay magazine uh, issue 7 uh, we're basically doing the uh, the steering rack sort of thing at the front uh, there's only like one two three four five six seven pieces so hopefully it'll be nice and quick um, but there's the images I will overlay these again when we uh, get around to putting them in a uh, little bit of uh, about the cast and the stars and stuff like that. Uh, it is worth mentioning that, um, what's his name, Biff, Thomas F. Wilson, is going to be at the London Film and Comic Con this year uh, at the Olympia. So uh, I don't know if you uh, want to go along and meet him, but you'll be able to do that by going to the LondonFilmandComicCon.com website. Um, but that's pretty much the uh, magazine. And what's coming next week, or next time we have this, is the anti-roll bar and bottom plate. Now, the uh, next ones should be coming, I'd say, oh, probably about three weeks from today. So it is going to be a while. It's going to be a break uh, before this starts. So uh, anyway, let's put these in now. Okay, so basically there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces here to put together. Um, something that I have seen in the forums is that... Uh, People have been getting this one and it's got a little bit of discoloured paintwork on one side. It's fully painted on here, but as you can see on this one, uh, you've got some silverish there. Um, I think this is going to be hidden, so you're not actually going to see that underside anyway. So uh, don't worry too much about that. Um, but the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, looking at it, the steering rack. Step one, we're going to be using this section here and this section here. And we're going to be attaching this uh, to this unit. Now... I'm just seeing if it's directional. This is pretty symmetrical, so um, it doesn't matter where you put this, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm going to be putting this piece to the left, right over this piece here. Uh, and that's going to be secured with one of the screws that come, which is the FA, uh, FM screws, which are these ones here. So let's get them out. And of course, as I said, when my pillbox comes, I won't be uh, having to... Um, won't be having to put the screws in there. <laughs> uh, again, I think this might be a little bit fiddly. Because I'm holding it while screwing it. So <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Whoa. Right, seems to be going in okay. I don't want to. I want to make sure that these screws actually go in perfectly straight, because uh, again, I have seen some forum posts that the uh, people are rounding their screws off, uh, and really, you shouldn't be using that much pressure on it. I'm using this other screwdriver to get these things in. Now these. You'll know you're putting too much pressure on it when the, the screw does feel like it's going to start rounding. But there you go, that one's pretty much in. It is supposed to be loose like that, okay? And I don't think this screw's meant to go in and all the way anyway. So, uh, but that's that one in. And we've got to do exactly the same on the other side. Uh, this piece, just seeing what way it goes in. It goes in with a 
it's got a sort of bend on it. Okay, the bend looks to be uh, going slightly up. Okay, so uh, don't put it that way round. With it going down, you want it with the bend going up. Okay, so let's get that last screw out. Put this bit in. Guy, you certainly do need a hundred pairs of hands for this. I'm going to use the other screwdriver. Oh. I'm having no luck putting that in. <laughs> Try that again with my hands to start off with. Perfect. Right. See, I'm just more interested in getting the screw straight so it doesn't get rounded. Very fiddly, I have to say. Very fiddly. But there we go, that's going in. Go back to this. Hence why I use so many uh, screwdrivers. <laughs> As I said, the screw can only go in a certain amount of distance, so... Uh, there you go, that one's in as well. I'm going to tighten that one up. I'm not happy with that one. But uh, they should be loose because obviously these are going to be uh, attached to another part eventually. Uh, and they should be able to slide up and down this so that you can actually change the uh, the how much depth you're going to need. So uh, by all means, I wouldn't tighten them up uh, completely. But that one, I need to. I, I would like it to sit pretty much like that one is. So I am going to tighten this one up. It means uh, undoing it again. Um, just so that I can make sure that I've got this in exactly as I want it. I don't want to round screws and I definitely don't want to uh, just leave it too loose. But again, as I said, this is what uh, the problems you guys are probably going to uh, face. So uh, I'm showing you the problems I have in the hope that you guys won't have these problems. Okay, that is definitely straight. That screw isn't going in anymore, and this this piece is quite loose still, I have to say. Uh, but that is not going in anymore. So if you have got a loose side, then again, let me know, because uh, uh, I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to be, <laughs> until it's actually attached to something. But uh, that screw won't go in anymore without me rounding it. So uh, that's pretty much that one there. Uh, the next one, step three, we're going to be putting these grommets on. Now these are directional, as you can see, you've got the ripples here and then you've got plastic. These plastic bits go in towards the car and they're going to be going on each end sliding all the way down. So you basically push it into there and slide it over that little flange that's there. And we do the same on the other side here. Just like that. And that's pretty much step four done. And uh, we don't actually use this bit. That is the completed steering rack. And that's all we have to do in this issue. So, uh, yeah, not much to do at all. Uh, but please, get back to me and let me know what you think about this screw thing. As I said, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see any detail in that at all. I'm going to just back off a little bit and put it onto my face there. Um, I don't know if that screw can go in anymore, but I don't want to force it. And again, it doesn't really tell you anything about torque or how far it's supposed to be going down into the instructions. So, uh, um, it's certainly in. And the screw is certainly straight, So, uh, but let me know if you've had the same problem. Uh, that is issue seven. As I said, the next ones are going to be coming probably three to four weeks. Uh, but I hope you like that little build there. Take care.